Hi you guys, welcome back to another Sexy Ass Live. Well, this show is all about being yourself sexually, expanding your mind, being that person that you are in the inside, being that real freak, being that real exotic, erotic person that you are. Today, we are going to be talking about how to gain confidence in who you are, how to gain confidence in the things that you desire in sex, during sex, with sex, whatever, sex. <laughs> we got to have that confidence to really, you know, get the things that we want. We have to have that confidence to really, you know, be the the person that we are truly, that we truly are. Now, when I say confidence, I am talking about having the energy, having that mindset, having that vibration of confidence, having that high roller, whatever your confidence is, that's what I'm talking about. I want you to have that, you have to have that, that mindset, that energy to really gain confidence in yourself. Now, ways that you can do that, ways that you can gain confidence in yourself uh, during sex or, you know, before sex or whatever, ways that you can do that is really learning yourself, learning who you are as a person, learning the things that you like, seeing your imperfections as as they say because i don't really think you have imperfections they are imperfections for someone else that's someone else's opinion now if you look at yourself and you see something that you do not like i don't think it's an imperfection i think it's something that you need to give more love to because obviously you looking at it and you're like mm, i'm gonna just hide this Mm, I'm going to just put this away. I don't want nobody to ever see this. I don't even want to see it. And that's the wrong energy to have. When you have an imperfection, when you have something that you do not like about yourself or something that you do not like about your body, that is the main thing, main part that you really should be looking at and really getting to know. Because once you get over that imperfection, once you get over that, that, that energy that you have about yourself, the road will be much more clearer. I had a, you know, an imperfection, as someone else may call it. And you know what it was? It was my gap, my gap between my teeth. But you know what I started doing? I started looking at myself in the mirror like, ain't nobody, ain't nobody got no gap like me. This, this gap right here, this gap, nobody got it. And I love it. I love this gap. I love. I didn't like it before, when I was, you know, when I was younger, when I was a kid, when I was a teenager. I did not like my gap. But look at look at me now. I'm confident. <laughs> I'm confident about every part of my body. I am confident about every part of my mind. If I say something that does not fit someone else's, you know, energy, mindset, whatever. It's me. It's mine. That's mine. That's what makes me confident. I don't care about what makes others um, feel safe or, you know, feel better about themselves. But what makes me feel better about myself is seeing myself at my highest self. Being confident is about seeing yourself at your highest self and not caring what anyone else has to say about it. You have to be real confident in the person that you are because if you listen to other people, you will go down from there. And you don't want to go down. You want to always go up, especially when we're talking about sex. Now, when we're talking about sex, <laughs> you have to be confident. You have to be confident. You have to know that, okay, I'm in this relationship. Or if you're single, you have to, okay, I am in this relationship with myself. Like, I see the things that turn me on. Like, I'm looking at myself right now, and I'm like, <laughs> I mean, you look good. You look good. 
And that's how you have to be with yourself. You have to really talk to yourself. I've said this many, 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 many times before. You have to talk to yourself. You have to open yourself up and really just love on yourself because that that is what really boosts your confidence up. You cannot go around somebody and fake confidence because you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna mess around and you know that that imperfection is gonna come out. And it's going to make you shrivel up. You don't want that. You want to always stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Obviously. Stay ready. Stay boosted on your confidence. Stay boosted on the person that you are. Now, having confidence during sex. This goes for when you're with your partner. When you're having threesomes. When you're, you know, in a polygamous relationship. Whatever. When, you're ha when you have confidence in sex, confidence in your body that it will perform, confidence in your body that it will give what it's supposed to give, confidence in your body that it will help you give what it's supposed to give. It will help you. Your body will really help you once you realize that you're working together. You don't want to feel that you are not like, oh, I hope my body, I hope you, I hope you last long. I hope you, you know, I hope you get wet. I hope you get wet. That's going against your body. You don't want to say those type of affirmations because that's what it is. It's affirmations. You don't want to say affirmations like, oh, I, hope you, I hope you do right. I hope, oh. you're putting yourself down. Now, what you could say is, oh, thank you, Yoni. Thank you, Yoni, because I know you're going to serve me right. I've been serving you right. I've been loving on you. I know you go going to get wet. you go going to stay wet. And you go give what it's supposed to give. Your body loves compliments. Your body loves compliments. Don't leave those compliments out. Talk to your body. Boost yourself up. Do not wait on anybody to boost you up. Boost yourself up. Tell your body how much you appreciate it. And like, you know... I know I'm going to perform right because my body supports me. My body gives me all that I need. Everything that I need. I, I don't need no lubrication. I don't need anything to jump start anything. We're going to flow through this. I'm going to take my time. And that's another thing. When you're having sex, I know it's sometimes it's a, you know, a fast thing or you, you're really trying to get to that, the, the climax. But in truth, in truth, when you're having sex, it is a flowing experience. You are not supposed to be, oh, let me hurry up and, oh, let me, let me get this. No, that's not how sex go. It's not how it goes. You are supposed to really take your time with your body. Really take your time with your partner body. You take your time. And once your, your body have to open up. Your body have to open up. Just imagine, you know when it's cold outside and you get inside of your car and it's still cold. You're still cold. That car has to warm up. The inside has to warm up. And you know, we're warming up to the experience. So you have to warm up and really take your time and just sit through it and feel, go through your senses, smell, touch, taste. You do not have to rush this experience. When we rush, that's when our body goes into an overload. Cause it's like, oh, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready. Okay, okay, come. Okay, 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 wet. That's how your body is talking when you go into that overload that it's not ready for. It's like, okay, okay, I don't know which one to do. I don't know. I don't know. And you have to really think about that. That is really something to think about. You do not want to rush into anything. You always want to enjoy the experience. You always want to enjoy what's going on. Really pay attention. Really pay attention. Close your mind and really pay attention to the experience. Really touch, taste, see, feel, 
all of the above. Really get into the experience of love, of sex, of confidence. Really get into the experience of who you are as a person. So confidence is key. Confidence is key, is key, is key. Forget about all of those imperfections, all of those things that, that other people is really calling imperfections. And now you're calling them imperfections because that's what it really is. Someone is calling it an imperfection and now you're calling it an imperfection. Like, no, this is not an imperfection. This is something that I'm, I need to give more love to. This is something that needs more love. When we say imperfection, it's something that needs more love, more, more connection. It needs some more time to, like, you need to spend more time with whatever area, with whatever energy, whatever it is. Spend more time with it, and you will see. You will see how your confidence just boosts up because when you spend time with something and really get to know it, you start to fall in love if you <laughs> you start to fall in love because you're uplifting it, you're seeing what it is for, for what it really is, and you're liking it. You're like, oh, this ain't this ain't nothing to be afraid of. This is me. This is something that is different. No one else has this. No one is like me. We are all created differently. Although we are the same, we are created differently. No one is like you. So love yourself, love your imperfections and boost that damn confidence so we can have some high performances during sex. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really do appreciate all the support. I really appreciate the love. Please go follow me on Instagram at mgenie, M-G-E-N-I-I-I. -I -I. And you know, I'll see you guys next time.